Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we managed to get our la uh, our last precinct key. Yeah, I remember. And some sad news. My original PlayStation um, control pad has been rather intermittent lately. And I have no idea why until I examined the cable. And <clears throat> as some of you will remember... I had a rabbit, and as you can see there, I have found out why the little bastard, rest his bones, has chewed through the cable. Now, I actually had two of these control pads from back in the day, <clears throat> and uh, the other one suffered the same fate. I only just realized he had that one too. However, as luck would have it, I've got one of these knockoff uh original dual shock control pads i actually had two of these i could only find one though um these are actually from the same time of when the playstation was still relevant and it's not a dual shock it's a dual jolt and <clears throat> for a knockoff control pad it actually doesn't feel too bad it certainly doesn't feel as good as a official PlayStation one, which I would love to try and get an official PlayStation DualShock. Maybe, maybe I will try and do that. It feels a lot better to actually be using a DualShock-esque control pad over the original. Anyway, but if you hear any like squeaking or anything like that, it's not the rats. Um, they have been told to be quiet. It is, in fact, the control pad. Right, let's... Oh, I, I think this control pad still works. Hear that. That's the D-pad. Delicious. Anyway, let's go back to exploring the wing. <laughs> Our favourite wing. My... Oh, guys. Oh. Oh, guys. I don't know. I... D I don't know. I cannot confirm whether this control pad is working properly. Oh, if worse comes to worst, I'll have to start using my PlayStation 2. <sighs> yeah, it's very hard, like when you're running forwards, to change Claire's direction. Uh, unlike the official control pad. I don't know whether that's just because this control pad's shit, um, or whether it's just because it's old. Oh, it also has a turbo fire feature, which I never even knew about. Totally useless for this game. But pretty cool for upcoming games, shall we say say no more in fact one game in particular that might come in very handy All right let's start examining some rooms I think we got zomboids through here we do it's one of my favorite rooms actually this corridor here I don't know why I like this one so much but I always have I think it's the colors yeah, that's hard as hell to actually aim. And that's all she wrote. Ah, shit, we don't have the fecking lighter. Well, that's a load of old steaming ass. Let's go back and get the lighter. Because we need the lighter for where we're going. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's really hard. Because she's like, you can see she's like sticking to the wall. Maybe it will uh, loosen up. It's a bit stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully it'll loosen up with a little bit of um, a little bit of use. I mean, to be fair, I don't think this control pad's been used for at least ten years. And I, I mean, at least ten years. Damn it, I really need to get some new control pads. I need some new control pads, actually, for my PlayStation 2 and my Xbox. My original Xbox. Um, and my PlayStation 1, but... I mean, you could make the argument, I suppose. There's no point even using the PlayStation 1 anymore. Just use the PlayStation 2, but... I don't know, man. It just feels right to use the old machine. Smoke them if you got them, right? Now, let's go back. 
have been thinking about getting a modified PlayStation 1. Or maybe just modifying it myself. I don't know. Because some of the PlayStation games are so incredibly, like, expensive to buy. You know, I, I want to get all the clock towers. But the, the first clock tower on the PlayStation easily goes for over £200. And is it worth it? No. No, it's not. Although I do like collecting for my PlayStation 1. Hey, zombies! Well, let's give this bolt gun a bit of love, shall we? Yes! Oh, he's down and out with one blast. Let's see if we can... Ooh. Her, not so much. She was a tough cookie. But you can see it really does. The bolt gun really does chew through ammo. At quite the rate. Come on, Sonny Jim. Suck my bolt gun. Don't know if he's dead. Uh, I can't see any blood, but that might be the camera angle. I do remember that there's this puppy here. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Right. Let's go have a little look. Start opening up some doors. We could really use some handgun bullets. Yeah, my god. Ah, right. That's all she wrote for the diamond key. Alright. Interesting room, this one. Hmm. We've got the cord, which we want. And we want that. Kind of regretting picking up The herb. All right, let's grab you. And then get ready to fucking run. See you later, sucker. We do not need to play with you. As much as I'd like to put your ass down, I think, given our ammo situation, it's better to just leave them in there. We don't ever have to go back in there anyway, so... You know. Now, what I always thought was quite interesting, although... That room is now, like, the glass is now smashed. Oh. Well, how about you forget everything that I was just about to say? Shit. Don't know how many blasts. That took way too many shots. That was not fantastic. Okay, so, yeah, I can't turn. I'm not sure now whether the liquor in the other room is still there. Or whether he hops between the two. Nothing special. Right, at least we've got some more handgun bullets anyway. Oh my god, yeah, it seems to be the left um, button is mega stiff. Right, there we go. Uh, so that's cool. We've got everything we need there. Nothing special on the shelf. Are you sure, Claire? Are you sure there's nothing special here? Pretty sure there's like a file or something. On that desk. Is there not? So why do we have to come in here then? Huh. I guess just for the handgun bullets. Really? Are you sure? Ha, huh, fuck. Could have sworn there was more in here. Never mind. Well, I suppose we cleared the room anyway. Not sure a few handgun bullets was worth the trade of the bow gun. <clears throat> but never mind. Ah, we can't do that yet. Oh, okay. So I guess we're going to go underground. Yeah, that's right. There's one key that's still left to get. I remember. <clears throat> Actually, this handgun's going to be quite useful here. Yes, going to be very useful indeed. Because what we're about to fight is going to warrant it. 
What we also need... Now that cord, there's two points in this game where zombies are going to spill through, like uncontrollably, like tons of them. One corridor we can completely skip out. This corridor, we have to keep going through. So it makes sense to use our cords to repair the shutters through here. Because it stops like five zombies coming through. I mean, usually when I'm playing on easy or just going for a kill everything playthrough, uh, I don't bother because I like to kill everything. But we're definitely going to patch this up. Because there's no skipping this door. And if we look at that, an open close switch for the shutter can't be activated since the cord is shut. Well, we have this bad boy. And that provides us a nice little bit of uh, security. I believe there's stuff up here. Ah, maybe I'm thinking of Leon again. I've got to stop fantasizing about Leon, man. It's be oh, whoops. it's becoming unhealthy. There we go. Oh, we need the club key for that. Okay. So I guess we need the club key for two areas in this game. Interesting. I thought only one door. Ooh, hear that sound. Do you like dags? Everyone likes dags. Come on, Fido. Step right up, Sonny Jim. Now, dogs don't get angry until you run. Or shoot them in the face. That generally makes them quite angry, to be fair. But we want to be very careful with our bullets here. He's still coming. Holy shit, that's sick. That's five. Six rounds. Was not expecting that, to be honest. You greedy pooch. There's one. Run. Oh, it's two hit. Alright, Claire. We're on caution health. That's not great, to be honest. Shit, let's... F oh, God, we're on danger health. Okay. Okay, things... Holy shit, we're on danger. What? The actual... We're dead. We're dead, unless... I can... Yeah, we're dead. Holy shit, guys. I do not remember the dogs being that lethal. Well, that was a giant pile of ass now, wasn't it? Right, one second, guys, and I'll get us back to... Hey, guys, and we're back. Right, and I wasn't keeping an eye on my timer, so I have no idea how long we've been recording for, but that's okay. Uh, now, I know... One of these rooms is a good room. One of these rooms... Or at least I know there is a save room down here, but I can't remember exactly where it is. I think it's a little bit further on. Right, come on, you doggy bastards. Taste my lightning. You know, in your own goddamn sweet-ass time. Holy shit, though. I never knew the dogs were this dangerous. I suppose what we could do is just run past them. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, fuck off. F wow, look at that. Like, straight down on our health. Like, just like that. Holy crap. These dogs don't fuck around. Good thing we got health. This place is utterly infested with them as well. That's fine. There's a red herb there, which is rather nice, actually. Uh, we will take it for now, sure. Now, where is our pedigree chum? Down here, I'm pretty sure we get another one. Jump down as well. Come 
Come on, you fucking bastard. Oh, there they are. They're above us. Yep, let's just jump down. Yeah, I think there's two dogs up here, which really sucks. I don't know whether it's this version of the game that they're so tough or what, but interesting nonetheless. Ah, this is the save room, which is nice. We need this. We need to jiggle our junk about. Um, let's open the box. We don't need this anymore. Well, at least not for now. We don't need that for now either. We could take the handgun out. Just empty it. I suppose. Yeah, that could make sense. Just take the browning out. Just empty the sucker. Might make a monochrome of sense. You know, we'll take these ink ribbons whilst we're here. For prosperity. Do we only... Ah, I was going to say, I'm sure we have more. Yeah, we've got like six ink ribbons now, which is going to be more than enough for the rest of the game. I say, optimistically. Now, I... Th ah, yes. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Well, you are a stranger. It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Mm -mm. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. I mean... Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Might be able to hear my cat purring. Sherry! Sherry! Yeah, this bit. We actually uh, take over a Sherry now. I forgot about this. But we can get some cool items for Claire, if I remember correctly. I think Sherry's quite fast. Which is good. Because these dogs, they suck. I don't know what Sherry has on her. She has a first aid spray and... She has a picture taken fairly recently. Of her family. Which I'm sure are doing absolutely fine. Yep, here they come. Come on, duck and weave. This bit's so much better with Ada. When you play as Leon, you do this bit with Ada, and Ada has a gun. You know, because Ada's just straight up awesome. One of the best Resident Evil characters. And I, for one, can't wait to see what they do with her with the new one. So, we got a puzzle, Sherry. How's your brain feeling? Hopefully you're not too scrambled with G-Virus. Because we've got a rather simple puzzle here to do. A box puzzle. Yes. Resident Evil likes its box puzzles. Just like the first game. But rather fortuitously, it's a rather easy puzzle to do. Can you guess what's going to happen? Ah, oh, and her animation. Yeah, I get it. It's supposed to be cute and adorable. No, oh, little kid climbing over a box, but it's just irritating. Right, shove that. You know, I'm always curious in these games. What's in that box that we're just carelessly pushing aside? I mean, I'm guessing they're rather empty. But there could be grenade launchers in there, assault rifles, miniguns. There could be all kinds of joy in these boxes. But I guess we will never know. If I ever got to interview the producers, I would probably ask them. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You can't do it. 
There we go. Beautiful. Like an expert, Sherry, although not quite. Although I suppose it's got to be a fairly terrifying thing to be a little kid in this situation. Never got the pleasure of finding out, I'm afraid. Right, let's go. Now, there is another room as well that we can explore. Come on, you can do it. Run across the wooden thing. There you go. Right, there should be our final key there. Nice. But wait, there's more. If we dare to uh, actually go and get it, that is. Run! Run, Sherry! Run! Remember your training, and you will make it back alive. Oh, the dogs didn't really give much of a shit, to be honest. Good dogs. <sighs> Probably not the best place to be with a string of... S Ooh. String of sausages hanging out your pocket. Ah, there's some grenade ammo as well. Which is nice. Yes, we feckin' well will take the grenade rounds. It's sealed firmly. That's cool. Right, let's go back. Oh, this is the cesspool. Oh, how divine. Hmm. Well, we picked the best locations. Only the finest locations for you guys. Only take you to the greatest of places. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, not... Fantastic, and I have literally no idea. Oh, she's fine. How much damage these dogs are doing. I mean, Claire would almost be dead by now. Oh, fuck off, Fido. Yeah, that's just a crapshoot with Sherry. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get unlucky. Although, I don't think I've ever been killed there, to be honest. I may have been. I've played this game a lot. Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Yeah, that would suck if we forgot to... Here's another. Take the uh, grenade ammo. Because it all helps. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. Hmm. I can take care of myself. Well, I hope so. That is a really... Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Really goofy outfit she's wearing. Right, let's grab our goodies. Claire, the, the, the goodies, like, right at your feet. Can't really miss them. Oh, that's good. We've got two slots left. Lovely. All right. Uh, I think it's about time we go put some dogs down. You know. But before we do that, well, I don't want to go too long on this episode because I don't know how long the first part was. And ooh, twenty to nine. Uh, we got the full complement of grenade ammo there. Number of the beast six six six. Um. Yeah, we we'll take the handgun just to use it up here. Having said that, I don't. Nah, we better, we better take the handgun to use it. No point. When you've got such low ammo, there's no point holding on to a gun that's got six bullets. If you can use those bullets, you might as well. Now, considering how dangerous these dogs are, I definitely want to put them down. Because, man... These dogs. 
There's two, three, four, five. That was six. Don't want to reload that gun. It's just a waste. Come on, you bastards. Got your dinner right here. I should be counting my shots. That was six. Oh boy, we're cutting it close here, guys. Come on. Man, they dialed these dogs up. Come on, you fucker. Fuck you. Five rounds left. That is, um... Really not fantastic, if I'm being honest. In fact, that's rather bad. We've got lots of bowgun ammo, but I don't think, to be honest, I don't think the bowgun hits the dogs. Might be wrong, might be remembering that incorrectly. But I'm pretty sure the bowgun is not great for the dogs. I mean, I guess we can find out, but man, they kill you so quickly. Like crazy quickly. Quickly. That's a weird word, isn't it? Quickly. Quickly. Hmm. So let's head back upstairs. And I need to take a break. One second, guys. And we're back. Right. Let's go. So, dispatch these two mutts. We've got two more in here. I really am tempted to try the bow gun on these guys, but I'm... Ah. Oh, shit. They're now lickers. Ooh. Well, funny enough, I actually prefer the liquors to the dogs. Whew. Yeah. But there's another one still. We can... All right, so we can go into the autopsy room. Let's have a little poke around in here, shall we? Go prod some bodies. Oh. My. My, my. Evening, gentlemen. Hope everybody is well. Hopefully there's no horrible monsters. Yeah, we're going to take the red card. We definitely want that red card. And now, we're going to bum rush out of it. Because we really don't have the ammo to fight these guys. Come on. Yes, that was actually quite good. The fact that we knocked both those guys down there. I actually think there's some bowgun ammo in there. But you know what? Fuck it. It ain't worth it. Now, this red card is quite the spicy meatball. Don't know where that liquor is. So, we're going to keep walking very, very fucking slowly. Alright, and we end up in the power room. There's a green herb in here as well, which is rather nice. I don't know if there's any other herbs or anything else in here. I think there might be some bullets if we're lucky. If we're lucky. Yeah, this control pad is definitely not going. And I, I don't like buying second-hand control pads for old consoles because they're always shit. They're always broken. Might see if I can find some old new stock. Yeah, we take the police map. Anything else for me? No. Now, reserve power control panel. Yep. Remember this little puzzle? Now, I 
think it's up. Up. Down. Down. Ah, that is literally burned into my brain. Power supply? Okay. Now, what might that room be? That is a very, very delicious, spicy room. A room that is so needed right now. Hey, buddy. What, uh, what you doing, fella? He's having a little bit of a walk around. Well, don't let me stop you, pal. Let's take him out. Drop the fucker. Oh, man, I hate the... Bow gun is so inaccurate. So it's four shots. You only get five shots total of the thing. Right, we can use this sucker right here. And we can get into the arm storage that we read about earlier. A very juicy room indeed. So we've got some bullets. Oh, nice. So nice. Yeah, the, the bow gun is just such a pants weapon. For anything that isn't a zombie, basically. Is that all that's here for Claire? Oh, wow. Leon gets so much more stuff. Well, kind of. Now here, we've got a choice. We can take the machine gun and the side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items. Will you equip it? So we can either take the machine gun or the side pack. Now, we can either leave both items here for Leon. Or we can take them with us. I'm actually tempted to leave the side pack for Leon. I'm actually tempted to leave both of these items for Leon, to be honest. Um... Because that will make the B scenario a lot easier. I mean, Leon gets a lot of weapons anyway. And his weapons are much better. But... Leon has to fight a lot more stuff. So... I mean, considering our ammo situation, it might be worth us picking up the machine gun. But if we use the machine gun, it's a special weapon, I believe. And it does actually count against our time. Hmm. Oh, we can't actually exit out of this. We actually have to take one. Oh, that's shit. Okay, well... I guess if we say no... Ah, right, okay, cool. Right, so we don't actually have to take it if we don't want it. Uh, we'll take the side pack. Why not? Because that will allow us some more items, which is more useful for Claire, because she's got all the different types of grenade, ammo, and shit. Yeah, much, much better now. So much nicer. We've got a decent amount of handgun bullets now. So that should be enough to get us rocking and a rolling. So let's get out of here. For now. Now we're almost out of time. Which is a bit shit. We can continue on through here, which might be worth it for us. Hmm. 
but we're also almost out of time. Handbrake is loose, but I can't move it alone. Okay, apparently we can't do this bit yet. Right. In that case, we're going to go back and we'll save the game here. This is probably going to be a long part by the time I stitch it all together. But that's okay. Right, let's get back. we we'll save the game. I guess really. I mean, we've got to go back this way anyway, so... We might as well save it somewhere a little bit closer to where we need to be. We can search this room on the way up. By going through Ha. And I think there's some spicy stuff in here too. It's definitely a cool diary. Oh. Uh, paper, more than a week old. Yeah, that's no good. Anything else? Nothing in the locker. Really? Nothing in the lockers? Nothing at all? No grenade launchers or missile fucking launchers or mine throwers, machine guns, none of that good stuff? I guess not, but we do have some juicy acid rounds, which we're definitely going to take. And we have the Watchman's Diary. August 11th. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties whilst I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seems to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. Even he went, uh, he even went as far as to design a special key and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? Hmm. September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing that I managed could match his skill in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fe fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel because he hasn't been feeling too well. He's probably... Oh, he stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Hmm. Interesting. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. No bullets for me, Chief. So there's our beloved watchman. Hmm. Truly is a tale of woe around here. Right, let's get out of here. Make our way back into the main precinct. Yeah, good thing those shutters are up because I think soonish we're going to have a whole host of new friends to play with. Or at least we would have if we didn't put that tape up there. Alright, let's head out through here. Did we take the ammo off that guy? I think we did because we used it, didn't we? Yeah, we harvested him. I think that's the guy that um, Chief Iron shot in the heart. Fucking asshole. Yeah, that zombie on the floor is still active, but if he doesn't bother us, we're not going to bother him. Oh, man. It's always depressing when you finish up the last bit of coffee. 
Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling this part's going to be really, really long. Never mind. Let's go grab up some ink ribbons and we'll save it in here. Because I definitely ain't continuing tonight. Because it's ten, uh, 5 to 9. <sighs> 5 to 9. Jesus. And I have to be up for work at 4 in the morning. Yep. And uh, believe me, guys. That's as much fun as it sounds. Isn't that right, Cloud? Okay, let's go. Drop. A save. So, anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I have. And when we come back, well, we're going to use up our last precinct key. So, till then, guys. Till then.